Houston, the nation's fourth largest city, energy capital of the world, with the world's largest medical center, fifth largest legal market, and home to the University of Houston Law Center, providing excellence in legal education. We're one of the premier law schools in urban areas in the country, certainly one of the premier public uh, law schools with great programs, great students, and a tremendous faculty. And so I think that one of the things that Houston has to offer is the, uh, the number of big firms, the number of big corporations, and with that, the number of big legal issues that you have to face. I think that the number of courts that we have here in the greater Houston area also provides a great opportunity for students. The businesses in Houston today have global reach, not just uh, local or, or regional reach. And it's in that context that the Law Center sits and operates and provides talent to the leading firms in town. A top-tier law school, UH Law Center offers JD, LLM, part-time, and dual degree programs to train tomorrow's lawyers and leaders. The U of H was my number one choice for a law school. I am enrolled in the uh, JD MBA dual degree program. I'm the current student regent, which was an opportunity that I wouldn't have gotten probably at another university. Our mission is to, is to produce well-balanced, highly effective, and well-trained lawyers and to produce a center for high quality legal research and scholarship. U.S. News and World Report consistently ranks the Law Center's health law, intellectual property law, and part-time programs among the top 10 nationally. And renowned research institutes and centers add depth and dimension to the learning environment. Well, the amazing thing that's happened at our law school, and it's one of the things that really makes this law school great in terms of its national uh, reputation, is the number of centers that were developed that help lawyers uh, become the very best specialist in their field. The center is focused on the intersection between energy and environmental law. That is developing into one of the major centers for important policy decisions in the United States. We're tops in patent, copyright, trademark, trade secret, and information law. Our goal is to build always on our excellences and to outcompete everybody else around, and we do. There are some centers for study of Mexico in the United States, but there is no center for the study of Mexican law. I think that Houston itself and this law school can serve a role to improve relations between the two countries and between high-level professionals in both countries. Law professors are able to serve in leadership roles as center and institute directors, in part through endowed chairs and professorships. The chaired professorship or the endowed professorship is a signal not only to your own university but to the world that this person has achieved a special stature. For practicing attorneys who want to take their careers to the next level, the LLM program offers specialties in five areas and a program specifically designed for foreign lawyers. We have over 200 courses in our curriculum, which is one of the most extensive curriculums of any program uh, in the United States. Extending opportunities for law students on a global scale, UH Law Center and the University of Calgary have launched the International Energy Lawyers Program to enable students to earn law degrees in two countries. The vision has to be that we have large numbers of foreign lawyers coming here and our students and faculty going to schools at other countries. UH Law Center is also distinguished by its ability to offer law students exceptional practical training through its nationally known clinics, including civil practice, mediation, and immigration law. We had a, a team of students who worked alongside some lawyers recently in leading a case involving immigration law up to the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, resulting in a decision by the Supreme Court that changed the fundamental part of U.S. immigration law. For an immigration case to go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court is highly unusual and to get it a 9-0 decision in favor of the um, immigrant is even more rare. Law students gain additional hands-on experience through the Blakely Advocacy Institute 
The success of the program is evident in the number of students who have qualified for national championship competitions. We are the interface between the substantive and the practical. The advocacy program is the, the center point for all that to come together in a way that makes our students prepared to practice law when they leave the law school. The strength of the Law Center also lies in its scholarship, including publication of the Houston Law Review. It ranks in the top 2.5% out of more than 1,600 law journals worldwide. All of this and more gives graduates of the University of Houston Law Center a competitive edge in the marketplace. The Law Center in general takes a holistic approach, a collaborative approach across all departments to prepare students to be the best, the most efficient, um, and represent the clients in the most diligent way possible. University of Houston is a great resource for me for finding law students that are interested in the litigation area and in particularly the judiciary. UH Law Center not only educates lawyers, but it also gives back to the community by providing services such as legal assistance to clients through its clinics and helping consumers resolve problems through the Texas Consumer Complaint Center. And then there's the ever popular People's Law School. The People's Law School is just what you would think. We conduct a set of classes to teach everyday people about the law and the goal is to give you useful information that you can use. The last time I checked we, we were over 50,000 people have attended our classes. With all of its success, UH Law Center has big visions for its future and it requires an investment from the community to continue its tradition of excellence. We're already one of the best schools, I think, in the country. I see us getting better. We will be hiring new faculty in the next uh, four or five years. Uh, we will be improving the student body. Vision-wise, we would aspire to be in the top 20, top 30 of law schools nationally. It's clear that in terms of a high-quality school, uh, the building will have to be replaced or at least refurbished dramatically over the next five years. Today, it takes a lot of help from private individuals for schools to be able to advance. We are a premier school, and I think to the extent that we continue to give back to that school uh, and help that school to develop great law students and great lawyers, I think that all of us benefit from that. The most important thing that I hope for is a continued partnership with the City of Houston and the University of Houston Law Center, which will allow us to achieve the visions which our Dean has for the future. Houston can't be a great city without having a great public university, and uh, clearly U of H is, is the university in line to do that. It's important for the growth of Houston and for the commercial interest in Houston that Houston be a great city. And so, therefore, the ascension of U of H, including the Law Center, to that level is critical. Top tier law school, top tier university, top legal market, the University of Houston Law Center, providing intellectual leadership for Houston and the world.